You can scan the network to find out the computer systems in a network and discover the network topology. First, let's see the scan types. There are two types of scanning. First type is passive scan. In this type of scanning, you don't want to be recognized by the target. In this regard, you don't directly contact target systems. Just by watching a network's traffic flow, passive scanners can deduce a large amount of information about the communicating systems. You can use tools such as TCP Dump or Wireshark to monitor network traffic. Looking at the ARP table in a computer which is connected to the network is another example of passive scanning. So the second type is active scan. In this type of scanning, you scan on the target systems. Active scanning requires more preparation for the attacker or pen tester because it leaves traces which are likely to alert the target or produce evidence against him. Active scanning on your network can also return great headaches, however. It can have a high political cost and far-reaching effects on system uptime and reliability. If not done carefully, it can be an ineffective, inefficient way to gather information. We'll see Nmap in details. HPing is an excellent command line oriented TCP IP packet analyzer. It looks like ping command, but HPing isn't only able to send ICMP echo requests. It supports TCP, UDP, ICMP, and raw IP protocols, has a traceroute mode, the ability to send files between a covered channel, and many other features. SCAPI is a powerful interactive packet manipulation program. It is able to forge or decode packets of a wide number of protocols, send them on the wire, capture them, match requests and replies, and much more. Traceroute is a utility that records the route, the specific gateway computers at each hop through the network between your computer and a specified destination computer so you can find out the network devices between you and the target and identify the network topology. There's a really good comparison of active and passive scanning on networkworld.com website, which says, just as you can determine the type of cheese by tasting it, an active scan, you can also use passive techniques, such as reading the label or smelling the aroma as it passes by.